Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. There has been tons and tons of symbolism recently showing that we're nearing this time in the Bible of Revelation 17 when the great whore is burned with fire. This symbolism has been playing out all around us. In the book of Acts 2.17, God says you will see signs in the heavens and on the earth of this time. When we near the time of another exodus, just as when Moses had to go through the Red Sea and escape from Pharaoh. There is a giant fire going on in Fort McMurray up in Canada. 80,000 people have had to be evacuated. Just as Moses going through the Red Sea, these people going through the Red Flames to escape. As crazy as this is, we are going to go over to this area and show the beast of Revelation coming. Do you see the victory of the Lamb? When the great whore is actually burned with fire, and then all of these other nations give these power to the beast, these ten horns. It all comes down to the Catholic Church and even the Russian Orthodox Church. Here is all of the nations that want to burn the great whore and then give all of their power to the beast. See the Pope right there lording over everyone? This is the new world order in front of you. This is a vision board. See the white horse riding? And then all of them rising up with their new world order to follow the beast. So it's the time of the great whore to burn. These signs are, are all around us. Radiohead, who has not done something in a while, came out with a brand new video just two days ago about burn the witch. See the wicker man burning? And it, it all through here it's about the getting ready to burn the whore is what it amounts to. We're going to go over to this area and map this out. This is called the Hereford Map of Mundi, made by the Knights Templars. It shows when Jesus Christ comes and sits in the clouds and sits on a throne of the world and judges the world. He casts down a great millstone and the great whore is burned with fire. Right here. Here is Michael the Archangel casting down this great stone like this red bull. See the ripped mouth like the Joker? It runs into this dog. This represents the time of grace and mercy and even the great whore. Because right here, right there by those two domes, it actually shows the great whore burning with fire. We are going to show this exact picture in Fort McMurray. This big bull and the dog getting ready to be burned with fire. Down here you can actually see that this represents the spirit of Hitler. Do you see Adolf Hitler going into a pope? That is literally right there in front of you. See that? This is the plan. That's the spirit of Adolf Hitler coming after the great whore is burned and they all give their power to the beast. The great whore is actually right there riding this dragon. See her right here? This is even a machine about the oil in the Bible and Fort McMurray has a big thing about the oil through there. There's a big thing about this in there, about the, the city of energy as they call it. So let's head over there and show this exact same picture. We do not know a date. This symbolism is playing out today because it represents the Revelation 911 beast coming. The fifth angel with the key to open the abyss. And today is the fifth. See that there? That red bull hitting this dog. So let's go over and show this. The right hand goes up to heaven the left hand is burned with fire. Let's go show there, and, and the exodus that was going on, this symbolism was perfect. The 80,000 people even represent Daniel 8, when the goat comes and smashes into the ram and begins the new world order. In other words, a giant cataclysmic event is coming. All these people had to go through a red sea, red fire. Here is Fort McMurray, right here. We just showed that big bull-like beast coming, correct? Crashing into a dog. 
representing the great millstone of the Bible coming. There it is perfectly. How is this done? Because God made all of the universe, and this is his story. It's going by the Bible. There it is. The same thing. Do you see the beast right there? The red bull with the horns, as we shown, coming right there to burn the great whore with fire. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Matrix. Your own town and neighborhood has this fate interweaved all around you. There it is, perfect. The same picture. Let's show one more thing here about this, because this is not a small event. This is big time stuff coming. Let's go to right here. This is the Dendera chart. Remember, from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. This is Obama when his mask comes off and he is revealed as the beast and he gets this great sword for World War III. But there is Jesus Christ casting down the accuser and this is the woman of the Bible with the great arrow. When the fire burns, it, it represents everybody's exodus. See it lined up with the star systems over this bull, over to here. Now here again, you can see the dog the woman has the eagle ready. Do you see the souls here getting on the eagle to pass over as the trumpets blow? Here is Jesus Christ setting the great whore on the beast and burning her with fire and giving a grievous head wound to the beast system. Jesus is in control. There's the trumpets. And then you can see Jesus up here and he turns the wheel of the great tribulation and judges the world. But that is the event right there it was just rehearsed. There's the exodus, there's the great fire, there's the woman being burned with fire. We have to go through the disc with the eagle of Revelation 12 when the trumpets blow. So this was reenacted again right here perfectly. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. These things are reenacted over and over and over again. May God have mercy on us all. I will see you all at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Jesus is real. Call out to him before World War III starts. Because once it starts, once this event happens, Jesus is going to shut his door. And then the only way into heaven is to actually go to the guillotines. Do not take the mark of the beast when all of this begins. This was a town known for some oil things. This represented the wise virgins with their oil going through the Red Sea of the fire and escaping from this beast that is coming. That beast is all of these people. Each and every single one of them. They even made a video about Burn the witch of Revelation 17. Do you see how right here 717 right in front of us and Revelation 17. Thank you very much everybody. Jesus is real. He has paradise waiting for you. Call out to him. Hallelujah.